Hey everyone, I made some changes to my brewing recipe spreadsheet, so if you want to see what they are, keep on watching. So the latest update of this brewing spreadsheet is version 2.1. If you uh, download it in the video description down below or on any future video I'll be doing regarding brewing, you'll see that uh, in the instructions section there is a, a version history there and this video is on version 2.1. Version 2.0, the last video I did was done uh, several months back and uh, had some major updates for it, but this is more of a incremental update and some, and some uh, fixes and some enhancements. So let's get going. All right, folks, let's get started here. So this is my instructions tab. And uh, if you have not noticed before, I have made various uh, version changes and tweaks since my last major video for version 2.0 I did months ago. Uh, I've made some minor tweaks since then. No videos on these because they're just so minor. I just went ahead and made the changes. But I did start tracking them in here. So whenever you download a recipe, uh, check the... Uh, check this version history see what's changed since the last uh, version of the template that you have to see if anything got improved tweaked or enhanced that would help you um, upgrade to the latest spreadsheet for your new recipes okay now one of the first corrections to my spreadsheet uh, was an issue with the drain steps and spark vo volume versus the pre-boil kettle volume uh, apparently they, they didn't sum up to each other, which I guess I, they should, right? It was kind of odd that they were off by a quart or more at times, and also there were some use cases here where the number of steps or the amount of quantities in each step uh, was kind of screwy under certain situations, which I guess didn't test under because I don't or did not uh, use it in that way before. So thanks to that feedback, I came through here and updated these, and I actually validated it with my Hypervisen video <coughs> recipe that I just did and everything worked out fine there so as far as I'm concerned this is now working properly if you find problems with it please let me know now for an enhancement uh, there has been some requests um, over time as you know going back to version 2.0 of my spreadsheet I included support for metric units well there was a couple areas which had not yet been um, converted to dual units and this was the yeast information temperature range it had always been set as Fahrenheit simply because in the past uh, this is mapped from <coughs> the uh, yeast list where there was a single column in Fahrenheit listing the max and minimum fermentation range. Well, thanks to uh, some of my international users who, who are about, about half my audience actually, uh, I went ahead and split this up and put a little uh, formula in here to change the units from Fahrenheit to Celsius and change these values to Celsius depending on the value again that it, when you choose in your brew house setup tab if you change your units to metric and the temperatures become Celsius then the temperature here becomes uh, Celsius and converts it for you in place so you don't have to punch any numbers in a calculator or figure this out every time it's now there for you it's a small enhancement it's a small time saver but it's a time saver nonetheless and another enhancement I had made it was to the brew house set up in calcs tab is I just rearranged it for ease of viewing and manipulation I actually uh, pulled things out of certain areas and rearranged them for example I put a capacity checks uh, field up at the very top here so you can see r right away if something's going to work or not. I've also rearranged uh, all input parameters for process into its own box, all input parameters for equipment parameters in its own box, and then all output calculations for mesh and laundering in, in its own box and for, and for boiling in another one. And that kind of just lo logically separated things to the point from top to bottom where you can just enter things in and find the information here. I think it looks cleaner and this was an enhancement request from some of my subscribers, one in particular, and thank you very much for the suggestion. 
Another enhancement I had made in this spreadsheet was the addition of a manual entry field for the grain absorption ratio. Previously that was a hard-coded value in my formulas um, and I broke it out and turned it into a manual input variable. And this was based upon a user request that said they use a different number and wanted to use that different number and not use this 0 0.5 value so I figured why not I'm, I'm sharing this spreadsheet with the world everyone's got different opinions and how, how they want this uh, this ratio to be so now you can change it to whatever value you want but before you go doing that let me point out uh, that this 0 0.5 value has worked for me forever it has been right every time and in fact recently in, the, in preparation of doing this video and, and releasing this new spreadsheet I wanted to experimentally determine this for myself because I had some doubts after talking to these other people about this so I went ahead and did my own little experimental mini mash in, in, in my equipment and I did accurately measure the amount of water that went in the amount, the amount of water that came out of the mash and it did indeed come up to 0 0.5 quarts per pound so this to, this to me I am 100% confident that 0 0.5 is the right number but you're allowed to change it now so there you go now another enhancement I had made was in this refractometer area which I'm still trying to develop and work out for my own uses uh, right now and uh, there was an error um, in the refractometer conversion for bricks for the final gravity so this block right here uh, apparently I used the same formula all the way down but the formula I use is really only valid before the fermentation is, is, is complete. So these two top fields were, were right on. This bottom one needed a whole new formula that was determined experimentally from someone named Sean Terrell. Uh, his website is out there and he's got a really good article on this. And one of my subscribers had pointed this out to me that uh, using his formulas actually made this estimate or conversion of bricks to specific gravity uh, be more, much more in line if not the same as the expected final gravity over here and it matched up the hydrometer reading too so I made that quick change there and uh, I, I tested this on my hypervising video uh, recipe recently that I posted and it is uh, right on so thank you very much and the final change I have made here was a correction again uh, based upon some feedback from my international users again and when I again when I convert this thing to from from, from US units to metric units uh, I apparently did not get everything and uh, so the calculations for the strike water temp actually were not correct there was I guess a constant in there that was embedded in the formula that was only valid for the US units and there was a different constant value required for metric and I had now had since gone in there and fixed this so now it'll show the correct constant and the, and the correct uh, straight water temperature each time I'm not sure how much it was off by um, for them for, for you metric users out there I actually again I don't use metric so I, I don't know how bad it, it threw off your calcs but hopefully now it's fixed and uh, we can move forward um, and both brew excellent beers like I mentioned earlier Several of these corrections and enhancements were actually suggested by some feedback I got from some of my subscribers out there, uh, specifically a couple of you, Angus McDonald and Dave Jurek. Both of you guys have been contacting me, pointing out some things that you'd like to see fixed, changed, or added. We corresponded. We uh, solved these problems. I rolled it into this new version. So they take a lot of the credit for a lot of this, right? And you can also contribute as well. If you see any problems and you or, or, or uh, things that you want to see improved, don't feel shy, don't hesitate, contact me, L let me know what you would like to see on there because if it wasn't for subscribers like you and Angus and Dave here, uh, this update would probably never been done or not done this, this soon. So, so, so thank them as well, all right? So if you like what you saw here, please subscribe. If you liked the video, thumbs up it, give it a like. Check out my YouTube, uh, page or channel for more videos check out my website facebook twitter feeds i got it all going now folks and i also have t-shirts now in case uh, and uh and sweatshirts as well available as well in the link down below if you are a fan of mine and want a beer and barbecue logo shirt uh go right to that link down below and go uh and go order one uh, and other than that uh, i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching be sure to check out other videos on my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe